Hello. This is a video consent for laparoscopic fundoplication presented by CHI Health. By now, you will have already talked with your doctor about a medical problem involving your esophagus and stomach. In this video, I will walk you through the consent process for laparoscopic fundoplication. We will discuss the planned surgery, as well as its risks, benefits, alternatives, and expected outcomes. Following this video, you will have an opportunity to ask questions before agreeing to proceed with surgery. Anatomy. Your lower esophageal sphincter is the valve between your esophagus and stomach. It is possible for your sphincter to be too loose or for the opening in the diaphragm muscles around it to be too wide, allowing for acid reflux or even herniation or bulging of your stomach through this opening into your chest. These conditions can damage your esophagus and cause discomfort. This sphincter can be tightened surgically by wrapping the top portion of the stomach around your esophageal sphincter to reinforce the valve. This will prevent acid reflux and allow your esophagus to heal. If you also have a hiatal hernia, this will be repaired during the same procedure. Many important structures surround the area of operation. Your stomach is held in place by multiple ligaments attaching it to surrounding organs, and these must be taken down. Several important nerves and arteries are near the area of dissection, and care must be taken not to damage these. Above the diaphragm, your esophagus lies between your lungs. Indications. If less invasive medical treatments fail, fundoplication is commonly performed for GERD or acid reflux disease because tightening your esophageal sphincter can help stop backflow of acid into your esophagus. Fundoplications are also commonly performed as part of hiatal hernia repair. Your esophageal acid levels and esophageal muscle function will be tested prior to surgery to check whether this surgery will help your symptoms and to determine the best strength of wrap for you. What to expect. Your surgery will be done in an operating room while you are completely asleep. The length of the procedure can vary, but it is usually three to five hours. It is usually done through small incisions with the help of a long camera. We call this laparoscopic surgery. Steps. Once we have entered your abdomen, we retract your liver out of the way and carefully dissect away ligaments and adhesions until we have exposed the stomach and the cruise of the diaphragm or the opening in your diaphragm muscles through which your esophagus should pass. We then free up the stomach until it can be mobilized enough to wrap around the esophageal sphincter. We also free up the esophagus where it lies in the lower part of the chest so it can be carefully retracted out of the way. We then partially sew the cruise of the diaphragm together so the opening in your diaphragm becomes a little tighter. We proceed to wrap the top portion of your stomach around your esophagus and suture that into place so it reinforces your esophageal sphincter. Once this is done, we make sure your wrap is not too tight with an endoscope, a flexible camera which can be passed through your mouth and into your stomach. We will then remove our laparoscopic instruments and close your incision. Sometimes we will place a gastric tube during surgery, which is a tube between your stomach and your abdominal wall. This helps anchor the stomach to the abdominal wall to prevent the stomach from rising into the chest. It has the added bonus of being able to vent air and fluid from the stomach, which can help relieve discomfort if you are no longer able to belch or vomit. This tube is typically temporary and will be removed at a later date once the tract has formed. For certain medical conditions involving the esophagus, such as achalasia, in which the esophageal sphincter does not relax like it is supposed to, a Heller myotomy may also be performed. This is a procedure in which we cut the esophageal sphincter muscle. Rarely, a larger abdominal wall incision may be necessary if the procedure cannot be completed safely through the smaller incisions. This is more common if you have previously had surgery in the area we will be working. In addition to your surgeon, the anesthesia provider, a surgical resident or surgical assistant, Nurses and surgical technicians will be present in the operating room. Since this is a teaching hospital, medical students and other learners may also be present. Risks. Laparoscopic fundoplication is one of the common surgeries we do, but like all surgical procedures, there are potential risks. You must be aware of these potential risks in order to make an informed decision about whether or not to proceed with surgery. Not every possible risk can be addressed here, but we will discuss some of the most relevant ones. Significant bleeding is one risk which may require hospitalization, blood transfusion, or in some cases return to the operating room. 
Infection is a risk which can occur in the abdomen, in the surgical incisions, or in other parts of the body. We may give you a dose of IV antibiotics right before surgery to help decrease this risk, but even with an uncomplicated fund application, infection may still occur. Some people experience difficulty swallowing or belching if their wrap is too tight. This can cause bloating and discomfort from gas. Sometimes your esophagus can slip out of the wrapped portion of your stomach so that your esophageal sphincter is no longer supported. This can cause a recurrence of acid reflux. Occasionally, the lining of the lung will be damaged while freeing up the lower esophagus. This can result in a small amount of air leaking into the space around your lung. This will usually resorb and heal on its own without treatment, but if a large amount of air is present, it could need decompression with a needle or a small chest tube. Other risks of laparoscopic fundoplication include hernia formation at the incision sites, injury to the intestines, liver, spleen, vagus nerve, or other nearby structures, blood clot formation in the legs, which can travel to your lungs, or, very rarely, death. Laparoscopic fundoplication requires the use of general anesthesia, which is the process of putting you to sleep for surgery. Your anesthesia provider will meet with you before your surgery to discuss the risks involved with general anesthesia. Benefits The main benefit of this operation is improving your symptoms of acid reflux or allowing you to stop using medication to treat your reflux. Alternatives Alternatives to surgery in those with acid reflux include medication and lifestyle changes, such as taking acid-suppressing medications, timing meals to reduce reflux, avoiding lying flat, and avoiding certain foods that trigger acid reflux. What to expect postoperatively. After the operation is completed, you will awaken from anesthesia and be moved to the recovery room where staff members will monitor you closely for a few hours. It is common for patients to stay in the hospital for one or more nights following surgery. You can expect to have some pain from the incisions, which will be treated with pain medications prescribed by your doctor. Nausea medications will be provided, as vomiting right after this procedure can put a lot of strain on your new wrap. Usually, patients will be able to start drinking liquids soon after surgery, and will be kept on a soft food diet for 10 to 14 days following their procedure. Occasionally, patients may experience an ileus after surgery, which is a motility problem in your intestines which can cause delayed return of bowel function. This condition may require temporary nasogastric tube placement to decompress your stomach and this could lengthen your hospital stay. Before you leave the hospital, detailed instructions will be provided, including information on lifting restrictions, returning to work, wound care, and planned follow-up in clinic with your surgeon. We hope you have found this video to be informative. Please let your doctor know if you have any questions or concerns before proceeding with surgery.